Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jennifer. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this wooden sled out of scrap wood. You could either embellish it with something like a wreath like I have, or you can take this off and maybe put your name and street address, put it out on your porch. The only real materials I have wrapped up in this are the rope that I used for like the part you would hang on to a sled. I used spray paint to give it the red color. I did add clear polyurethane, and then I used wood glue, brad nails, and pin nails. This little sled is a perfect decoration to have around your own home to make possibly as a gift, or if you saw crafts in the winter time, it's perfect for that because it is very low cost to make, and it only took about three hours to put together. So if you're interested in making this craft, stick around and I'll show you how I did it. One of the first things I need to do is pick out wood to build this sled. So I'm gonna hunt through here and find boards that I think are thick enough. Pallet wood is a great resource though because it's cheap. Um, you can find some nice boards. So I'm gonna take a look through the pallet wood that I have in my other garage. And then I'm gonna come on and show you how I'm gonna build these pieces. I'm thinking this is a nice thickness, either that one or like that one. I might make this to hang. I don't want it to be really heavy. So this might be my bottom piece. So I'm gonna start off by taking this and cutting it exactly in half. All right, forgive me. I'm figuring things out. I'm just kind of laying it on the ground. And I do like these boards. I like how wide they are. They're three and a half. I'm thinking this should be from the center to the center about 10 and a half. The picture showed it with a little bit of this, so I would be like hitting in the, like right there. So these are the other pieces I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need probably about three cross pieces, and then I'm gonna need to cut one uh, part up here that is going to be like the, where you would hang on and steer. So here's my little rough outline laying here on the ground, and I will make sure I tell you all the proportions that I came up with. Again, I'm just working from a picture. I don't have a plan, but hopefully this video is helpful. Hey, all of my pieces are picked out. This is gonna be the actual like part where you would lay down on the sled. These are like my runners, which are gonna need to be longer than that plank part. These are about 41 and a half inches in length. Okay, by an inch and five eighths, by about three quarters in thickness. I initially thought I wanted to do some kind of a dip de doo here on the top, but I think for ease, what I'm going to do is make um, like a 50 degree cut on this angle and then also then one going down on that angle so this one will be like on the uptick here and then this one will be going down i also want to pay attention to the nicest part of the board like what side is going to face out as i cut these so i think i'm going to actually cut them together i'm going to keep those steady My boards are gonna be like in this section here. Um, they're not gonna run the full length, obviously. So I'm going to have to figure out about how long I want these. Okay, so these boards should be proportionately, two feet looks about right to me. I need three pieces at two feet long each. I'm gonna put this back at zero. pieces need to go the whole width of this. All together it's 12 inches across so I need three pieces that are 12 inches across of this. There's actually going to be a little bit of room if I want I can kind of spread these out a little bit um, like that. So what looks good to me is that this board from the back should be from this this top part here where it just where the angle comes up i'm going to do like the boards five inches from here to here um so i'm going to have to get an angle so this piece is not you know i got to have a little bit of room so probably what i should do to give myself is to come up with that like two inches to there 
I have to find my space in here as well. And then I'll put that one dead center of these two. About there. They come up two inches from there. Two inches from there. Two inches, two inches, and then the center of that space. So let's see, we've got 18, so nine. Nine should be about the center for that one. So let's see here. So that should be about like there. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of lock these. So there's one, two, All right, so there's that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and find a piece to cut. If you're actually sledding, it's the part you would steer. Um, and then I also have to be mindful because at the top, there's gonna be like a rope. I think this is the board that I had slated for that. Now you can use any size scrap you want. This piece just happens to be, and it's nice. This piece just happens to be about an inch and five eighths um, in width and then about like a half inch in depth and then the length doesn't matter because I'm gonna cut that off and then I'm gonna use my bandsaw and cut out the curvature on that but I think that's gonna go in this area I have to look at the example so four and a half looks about like the right proportion so this board needs to be 21 inches long because it's four and a half inches overhang and then the body of this is 12 inches so I'm gonna cut this piece at 21 and then do the little scoop de dupe on that side and turn it over and do the same on the other. So here's one side and that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is trace that on a piece of paper, cut it out and repeat that on the other side. Okay, so if I was holding onto the sled, that looks about right. For this, I think I'm just gonna put one right in the center. That way I can kind of tilt it and then I'm gonna go back through and add more. But I can feel that's on the edge of that. together okay so there and there there hopefully this is showing on camera but basically I'm putting my square here okay and that lined up and then I'm gonna go there and there I'm gonna put a big hole right here and here. That way the knot is gonna be here. That picture showed it here. I don't want that. I'm gonna to try to avoid. And this looks to be about the right area. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw. I think that is about good. This is the rope I have on hand. I'm probably gonna be using this. Um, so I need to make sure that the hole that I drill 
will allow for that. So there's center. I need to drill right there. About five and a half inches. I'm gonna get this side, use my square. Four and a half. Okay. All right, I'm outside. I'm going to be using this. It says banner red. It's actually a little bit deeper of a red. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Beautiful red. I'm gonna cut this one first and then use that as my guide. I'll flip it, flip it, flip it. Okay, so that came off in a nice chunk, so I'm just gonna use that as the uh, outside two pieces. That's my curve right there. And then I'm going to make my center one and then repeat that on the top and the bottom. Visually, it looks good. These outside lines look like they are even. Um, I'm just kind of looking straight down and this looks like it's splitting this board here. So I'm gonna go ahead and fasten it. Good, that's a good size nail. It isn't coming through. All right, so this rope is roughly, uh, I'm gonna say you need at least like 32 inches of rope to account for the extras that's going to go in back and make a knot. So I hope this video was helpful and inspires you to make a craft of your own. If you aren't already, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and look at the other videos I have on my channel. This is part of a series I'm releasing for the Christmas season. Beginning in November, I'll start rolling these out on YouTube before my other social media platforms. Just because of the nature of YouTube, I'm making these videos so you can make this craft and I wanna make sure I give everyone ample time to go ahead and do that. Also look me up, I'm on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook, so please follow me there as well. As always, I thank you for watching and until next time, take care.